Welcome to Kari's Conscious Living. Are you ready to meditate with Kari? Make sure that you're laying down and you're comfortable and you're ready to try and relax and listen to the story. Everything is just right in your room. Heidi, Cherry and Vea were at the park. Vea was trying to learn how to fly a kite. Heidi was showing her all the different ways. How you can try and throw it up and catch the wind and then pull against it and move around to follow the wind. Vea was doing really, really well. Cherry was flying her own kite and she was doing a good job too. Heidi said to Vea, just keep doing what you're doing. You're doing a really good job, Vea. It takes practice sometimes. Practice, practice, practice. We don't always get things right on the first go around. Cherry said, that's right. That's right. It took me uh, two girls, two, only two girls, but two girls to learn how to fly a kite. Heidi said, see? Sometimes it can take ten goes. Vea said, well, me, me, me thinks if it was going to take me ten goes, then me would have probably quit because me would have thought that I was just no good. Heidi said, see, that's the thing. Most people think if they don't get it right straight away, then they just quit. Some people... Don't even try and do anything new because they're so afraid of not getting it right the first time. Can you imagine? Cherry said, Yeah, I know. Can you imagine? Like all the different things that we like to do and try. Can you imagine if we never tried them? We wouldn't know how to surf. We wouldn't know how to skydive. We wouldn't know how to swim. We wouldn't know how to uh, do all the awesome things that we know what to do. and, and, And eat. Time we had to learn, right? We had to learn, didn't we? We had to learn, didn't we, Heidi? Heidi said, Yes, everybody has to learn. The cats were in their own little world doing their own little thing with their kite when all of a sudden this big black dog came bounding over alongside a tan dog. The tan dog looked friendly, but the big black dog looked a little bit wild. Everyone hid behind Heidi. And Heidi just stood her ground. The black dog came over. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Cat snacks. Which one, which one? Leo, Leo, which one? Which one do you want? Which one, which one shall I eat? Which one can we eat first? Oh, I want the little white one. The little white one looks so cute. Look at his little eyes. They're all blue and sparkly like sapphires. I'm going to eat the blue one. No, no, I mean, I'm going to eat the white one. I'm going to eat the white one because that's just like a starter, right? And then, and then I'm going to eat the ginger one. Cherry's face just went absolutely the most alarmed looking face you've ever seen and she stepped out from behind Heidi and said what are you joking you're joking aren't you you can't eat us we're we're like we're like beings and stuff like you can't eat us that's that wouldn't be very nice who do you think you are who do you think you are bounding over here and scaring me and Heidi and and they are like that you can't who do you who do you think you are and she stood up and puffed out her chest and stood in front of Tucker and Tucker stopped, and he looked at Leo. He said to Leo, What's it? What's this cat doing? What's this cat acting like that? I'm only going to eat him, and it's not as if I'm going to do anything wrong, is it? Leo said, You don't eat the cats, you eat your food. We don't eat mice, we don't eat other dogs, we don't eat diapers, we don't eat chocolate, we eat our dog food. That's why the cat's all upset. You're going to eat it and you're not supposed to eat the cat, right? No eating cats, Tucker. Do you hear me? Oh, but why? They're all crunchy and furry and I like how sometimes they're like little tiny teeth get stuck in your teeth and I really like cats. I was going to eat the white one for starters and then I was going to have the, the, yeah, yeah, the grey one for like the main course and then I was going to eat the ginger one for my dessert because the ginger one's all spicy. Look at it, look at it, look at it. Cherry said, 
I am not your dessert. Oh, who in earth do you think you are? And and my sister, Heidi, is definitely not your entree. And my other sister, Thea, is definitely not your starter. You can just leave right now if you think you're going to eat all of us. You horrible, horrible dog. Heidi said, everyone just calm down. Obviously, the tan dog, Heidi said to the tan dog, what's your name? And the tan dog said, it's Leo. Obviously, Leo understands that this other black dog, what's your name, said Heidi to the black dog. Tucker? Obviously, Tucker now understands, right, Tucker, that you don't eat cats. It's not very nice. Can I not have a cat on my birthday? Or even, like, for special occasions? No, said Heidi. You're not supposed to eat cats any time at all. Do you understand that? That would be mean and naughty and nasty, as us cats like to live. We enjoy being alive, don't we, cats? Cherry said. Yeah, Crikey Mikey! to my eyes. It were awful. It was... Tucker looked at the ginger cat, who was called Cherry, and said, Oh, oh I didn't realise. I'm sorry about that. I just was thinking about my stomach and I'm always hungry. I'm always hungry. Cherry said, Yeah, well, you should. You should think more, you know. Have you not got a brain or something? Because that was really like the scariest thing I've ever, ever, ever done. I think I actually went to the toilet. I was so scared. I really did think I was going to die. Can you imagine how you made us all feel? What about you, Vaya? Vaya said, Oh, me, 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 me. See? Said Cherry. Look what you've done to me, sister. She's so scared she can't even talk. Me, me, me. Oh, me so scared. Me so scared, said Vaya. Me, me, me have lots of dog friends and none of them have ever tried to eat me before. See? said Cherry. You're awful. Or are you anyway? Tucker? Tucker? I'm not, I'm not awful. I'm, I'm a really nice dog. I like everything. I'm a really happy dog. I love everything, me. That's why I even like cats. But I understand now. I understand I'm not supposed to eat cats. Okay, I won't ever, ever, ever eat a cat again. I promise. What are you guys doing? Heidi said, Oh, thank goodness. Okay, well, do you think we could all be friends? Leo said, Oh, we don't have any cat friends. So I don't know whether I'm allergic to cats. In fact, I kind of stay away from everything in case I'm allergic. Do you think I might be allergic to you guys? Heidi said, Well, I don't know about that. We'll have to see. But you're welcome to stay with us and fly kites if you want to. That's what we're doing, Tucker. We're flying kites. Oh, said Tucker. How'd you do that then? What do you do? What do you do? Vaya said, me, me just learn. Me, me, you, me, mm. you throw it up and then, and then you wait till it's windy, but then you throw it up and then the wind catches the kite and then, and then you pull against it and kind of run backwards and... And the wind pulls the kite up into the sky and... Come here, I'll show you, said Vea. Tucker and Vea were busy practicing. Cherry was talking to Leo. So, tell me about all your, uh, your anxieties and uh, your allergicness and stuff. Did you know? Did you know that when you're allergic to something, like if you have allergies, that means that you've got an allergy to actually something around you like like metaphorically without even realizing it means that like you're allergic to a person or you're allergic to a place like you want to get out of there because that place or that person didn't suit you did you know that I learned that from my friend Corey. She told me all about that she's really smart you know she knows all about psychology and stuff you should meet Corey. Maybe she can help you with your allergies because, you know, it must be awful having allergies. 
Cherry went on and 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 on. But Leo liked her. He liked her a lot. And they talked and talked and talked and talked until it started to go dark. Heidi said, Okay, everyone, I know we're all best of friends. We can meet here next Friday. But until then, we have to go home, girls. Come on. Tucker said, Oh, I don't want you to go home. I really like it. I really like you, Cass. I'm really, really glad I didn't eat you because then I would have never known what you were like. And I really do like you, Leo said. Yeah, me too. I didn't itch one little bit while I was around you guys. I don't think I have allergies to you. That's great, don't you think? Cherry said, See? I told you. I told you. That means you lie. Because that means you lie. Because it means that you're not like allergic to us and that you don't subconsciously dislike us. It means you lie. Because it means you lie. Because you think we're awesome. The cats went home. Snuggled down into the cat bed after the dinner and they talked about their new friends, Tucker and Leo. They talked about how scary it was at first when Tucker came bounding over like a big black giant beast. But then they talked about how nice he was when they got to know him and how sweet and friendly he was and he was just kind of silly really. He just didn't think very much. And then Cherry shared with everybody how sensitive and kind and shy Leo is. And how much she really, really likes him. Veo was happy that they'd made good friends, new friends, new good friends. And they were going to all hang out next Friday. Heidi said they needed to think about something cool that they were all going to do together. Eventually... Everything slowed down and they got sleepy and tired. And the bodies got heavy. The little paws stopped flicking and moving. The ears and the whiskers stopped moving. Tiny little cat nose stopped twitching. And then, before long, they all fell fast asleep. <laughs>